Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Avowed. We're going to start by optimizing Windows. After that, we're going to take a look on your NVIDIA parameter. And at the end, we will optimize your game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is Game Bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processor. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture, capture. Make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode honestly is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power. Uh, back then, uh, we were recommending to use the best performance, but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that another thing uh, i want to mention is some recommendations so make sure that your uh, xmp profile is activated if you have it on your bios super important make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your cpu if you have an amd or intel also, make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest updates from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um, overlay. So NVIDIA overlay, I really recommend to deactivate this one. Sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering. You're losing some FPS with it. So I really recommend to deactivate it. Also, we're going to go to the control panel. I'm going to show you some optimization that you can do. So we're going to go to the manage 3D setting first. So the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode. Make sure this one is at on. Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're going to struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radeon driver if you have a Radeon car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. Just before going inside of the game, I want to show you something. 
Uh, right now, when you install the game and even if you update your NVIDIA app, you will not see Avowed, so you can't override the LSS uh, on the Avowed. So if you want to do it, you will have to click the three dot over there, add a scan location, make sure that you select your Xbox game Avowed like this, you select, and after that, you will see your game over there. What you will need to do to use the, DL the latest DLSS version, click on the LSS over right over there. Make sure frame gen is using the latest one and make sure super resolution is using the latest one. And you're going to make sure that you have the latest on Avowed. If you're not using the NVIDIA app, you can also do it by with the LSS swapper. Again, by default, you will not see your game over there. You will need to add the game where you install it. You click on it. Make sure that you select the latest version of the LSS. You press swap. Same thing with frame generation, you press swap. This one, you will need NVIDIA Inspector if you want to push the profile K. I'm not too sure which one is using uh, it by default because I saw, I saw on Forza Horizon 5, even if you update your DLSS, uh, the profile, they're using the C one, so it's an old one. Uh, so my recommendation, honestly, use the NVIDIA app for this one. It's easier if you don't want to install the NVIDIA Inspector and you're going to make sure that you're using the latest one. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, so first of all, window mode, uh, just play window full screen. You don't have an exclusive mode over there. Frame limit, I just unlocked my FPS to have the most of my FPS on my, my PC. Honestly, if you have a thermal issue, just lock your FPS with the amount of Hertz of your monitor. Feel of you, they really recommend to go with 90. If you go higher than that, you're going to lose FPS. So I just play 90 in this game, honestly. Motion blur, I go with zero. I don't like this effect in any game. I'm not using the V-Sync. And anyway, if you're using frame generation, you can't. Um, also, you can use other technology like FreeSync or G-Sync if you don't want to use a V-Sync to synchronize your GPU with your monitor. I'm not using ray tracing. You're going to lose like 10% just with that. So I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, so just deactivate it. You have a couple of upscaling techniques. So in my case, I'm using DLSS because I have an RTX card. So my recommendation is go DLSS in quality mode. You can expect 10% boost in your FPS. And with frame generation, you will have another 40% over there. So you're pretty much fine with this game. One thing that is very disappointing is the upscaling with FSR. Normally when they use FSR3, they add the frame generation. And normally my recommendation is people with RTX card 2000, 3000 series, I recommend to go with FSR to activate the frame gen. But in that case, you don't have that option. So just for people who doesn't have an RTX card, definitely go FSR in quality mode. You can expect a nice um, like 8% boost over there. And for the sharpness filter, if your game looks too blurry, go higher. Uh, honestly, me, I'm playing normally at 60. And if it's too sharp and it looks too much like an Instagram filter, go lower. One weird part is the in the LSS, you don't have the slider. Normally, you always have a sharpness slider, so I'm pretty sure they're going to patch it. And I hope they're going to patch the FSR also for the frame gen. But this is pretty much it. Uh, frame gen on. Make sure that your reflect low latency also is at on if you it's available to you. After that, we have the advanced setting. Uh, honestly, view distance is doing a, a good job at medium and you're going to save like 8% of your FPS. In the open world, it can go crazy when you go at eye or epic. Shadow quality is a good compromise for your image quality and FPS. You can expect 10% boost in your FPS over there. Texture quality depends on the amount of VRAM on your GPU. So if you have 8 gig and more, go epic. 6 gig eye, 4 gig medium and less than 4 gig, go with low. Shading quality, you can easily run this one at high, like 1% to 2% difference between medium and high. 3% with epic, so my recommendation is go with high with this one. Effect quality, I recommend to go with uh, medium. You, uh, you will have a decent boost over there, and also it's going to stabilize your FPS a lot. Foliage, you can easily run, honestly, high. Uh, it's like 1% to 2% difference uh, for each bracket. So my recommendation is go with high with this one. Pulse processing, this one is a bit weird. At Epic and I, the game looks too blurry and you're losing a lot of FPS. I recommend to go with medium, but honestly, if you don't like uh, those bloom and blur and all those pulse processing, just go with low with this one. Reflection quality, this one I recommend to go with uh, low. Uh, it will help a lot with your uh, FPS drop. If you're struggling to run this game, definitely go with low. And it doesn't look, you don't really necessarily see it when you're playing the game. It's not like a, a huge thing. Global elimination, this one can be tricky. 3 to 4 percent for each bracket. So my recommendation is go with medium and you will have a nice boost over there. 
Another thing that I want to mention, some people ask me on stream, how can you activate the third person view? So just activate it over there. So you can also play this game in third person. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my about guide. If you have any questions, just come in, in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.